What up, fam? Since it's Brickmania's Great War Month, is it still? I don't know. I still gotta build three of the World War One planes that I have from Brickmania. One of them is the Albatross, the other one is the Camel, and I still have the Newport 17 that I actually want to build like right now. The Newport 17 was fielded in March of 1916, replacing the Newport 11 service types with the French. It was fielded by the famous Lafayette Escadrille, hence the movie. The British, the Belgians, the Italians, and the Americans were later to take on the Newport while during the war. It was initially equipped with Lewis machine guns, but it was later replaced with the Vickers. It was powered by a 110 Lerone rotary engine. And unlike many other aircraft at the time, the upper wing had a normal two-spar structure, but the lower wing only had one. It was intended with a lower drag of a monoplane, but the structure strength of a biplane. It was the answer to the German Fokker. So yeah, I still gotta build these other two, and I'm probably gonna build them soon, because I've been holding on to them for a minute. I really wanna build the Albatross. Let's just put them to a side. Number 54. I think the soft with I got number one. What? Damn, I should have done this one first. Oh well. Compact biker knife. Yeah, it's still legal here in California. So here's the monochromatic image in the vehicle plate. This is Brickmania's new Port 17 Hollywood edition from the Boys Who Fly or Flyboys World War I fighter aircraft, designed by Cody Cell. Ecam number 452, scale level 3 to 5. This second contains 281 Lego brick arm elements, plus one custom minifig. This actually looks pretty cool. Oh, I forgot I still gotta cut open the uh, sealable tape. And here's a BKM box. And like always, winners aren't born, they're built. Thank you for supporting Brickmania. Daniel Assistant Commander in Chief. Blueprint instructions. No action shot. Look at those stickers. Doesn't look like it's gonna take me long. We got the custom minifigure. And not many light bluish gray Lego elements. All right, so let's get to building this. Ready, set, go. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> 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 he off the stupid thing. Bfab, when you have the skill to be on LEGO Masters, you should be able to build anything with any bricks given to you. I know, and that's why I'm content with what I have. Clearly, I ran out of time, so don't oh, judge oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. Here we, are you going to reveal? Are you going to reveal? No, it's just done. What well, is that? That's pretty cool. What? No, it isn't. And I'm done. It's a good looking little plane. Or Newport, I suggest. The stickers, I thought were going to be a little much, and they come off a little bit right here, as you can see. It's not that bad. I know Brickmania is still working on getting their stickers better as they grow. We'll just give them a little bit more time on that. But at first glance, this is a good looking Newport 17. And again, I don't really have many others to base it on other than what I've seen in the movies and history books. One of my favorite things that Cody did with this plane is the spending the wings. So that way you get a little bit of that canter that you would see on the actual Newport 17, which is pretty cool because Lego is not intended to be bent like that, but Brickman does a lot of bending slightly to get a more realistic look and that's what i like about it so while we're looking at the front we can see the wood grain propeller and the stripes on the cowling are all printed as well they're not stickers thank god the ailerons both move you can adjust them however you wish you can see that the stickers were meant to be cut like that so that way it's easier to move obviously you have stickers on the wheels and you have the brick arms of vicar guns like we have two sticker elements towards the back you have the lafayette escadrille's symbol of the native american head towards the bottom part of the plane which in the actual movie it was towards this part portion right here of the plane but obviously it's kind of hard to do that with the lego element but we have two printed elements on either side of the plane which is the jevo 2 symbol of the american eagle that both cassidy and rawlings utilized in the movie so the minifigure is wearing that light bluish trouser of the french uniform 
the long boots, pilot trench coat that you could see them all wearing, and those brown gloves. He's wearing the pilot helmet and those goggles. That scarf also does a little bit to it as well. This could be either Cassidy or Rollins, whoever you want it to be. If you wanted this to be Rollins, you need that double R for the ranch that he came from. And the Hollywood edition of the Newport 17 is best complemented with the two Fokers that Brickmania came with to include the Hollywood edition of the Foker BR1. That Black Raven dude, whatever his name is. And then just the Red Baron looking one as well, which you can see a bunch of them in the movie. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys think. If you made it with me all the way to the end of this video, give me a thumbs up, a thumbs down, like, comment, subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next video. Hi, guys. Peace.